हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड रेस्पेक्टेड व्यूअर्स वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन टू दिस चैनल हियर इज द क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज अ रियली चैलेंजिंग एंड अ ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन देयर मे बी मेनी डिफरेंट वेज टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम बट सम ऑफ व्हिच आर शॉर्ट सिंपल क्लेवर एंड एलिगेंट आई रेस्पेक्ट एंड अप्रिशिएट all our learned and intelligent audiences viewers who come up with different and smarter ways with their comments in the comment section so here is the question and uh, this question belongs to uh, math olympiad question it's a very challenging question uh we are given a triangle abc in such a way that this angle bac is more than 90 degree this ba is tangent and touches this circle at this point a we are given that cd is equal to ca and ae is equal to ce and this b is perpendicular to ad produced and we have to find the value of angle bca this angle we need so before solving this question we will discuss two concepts which will be used in this uh, solution so one is if this is a circle and any tangent touches at this point and this point of contact from this point of contact if there is a chord it subtends in alternate segment any angle so the angle between the tangent and the chord will be equal to the angle subtended by this chord in alternate segment so this is these two angles are equal this is tangent chord theorem this is one of the concept which is to be used in the solution and one more thing if there is a chord and this chord subtends this angle and the same chord line segment subtends here this angle and if these two angles are equal if these two angles are equal because these two angles are subtended by the same line segment if these two angles are equal then we can say that this point this point this these four points will be a concentric points means we can draw a circle so if a b c d are four points and acb angle is equal to adb angle then we can say that abcd is a cyclic quadrilateral so we will use these two concepts in the solution of this question and before that just extend ae to f such that ae is equal to ef so ae A is extended to f such that a is equal to ef and f we joined so now look at these two triangles this one and this one ea is equal to ef by our construction this eb is common in both the triangles and this angle is 90 so therefore linear pair this will also be 90 so these two triangles are now congruent because of sas test of congruency and if these two triangles are congruent then we can say that these two corresponding angles will also be equal so let us suppose the angle which is to be found bca bx so this will also be x because this is the concept this is the angle between the chord da and the tangent ba so this is x and this angle is equal to the angle subtended by this chord da in alternate segment so this will also be x x x 
and since these two triangles are congruent so these two corresponding angles will also be equal so this is also x now look at this uh, line segment ba this ba is subtending this angle x and this angle x so we can say that angle bfa is x and angle bca is x also so since the line segment BA is same and the angle subtended by this BA, BFA and BCA both are equal. We can say that B, F, C and A are concyclic points. Means if we join FC then BFCA is a cyclic quadrilateral. So BFCA is a cyclic quadrilateral and uh, here E is the point e, such that EF is equal to EA and EA EC are equal given here A is equal to C. So this is the point which is equidistant from the point F, C and A and F, C, A, B are on the circumference and this is the point inside the quadrilateral and this is equidistant from the circumference point so this will be the center of the circle so this if we draw a circle which passes through c a b and f so this will be the center of the that circle as we know that angle subtended at the circumference will be half of the angle subtended at the center by same chord or by same arc so here ba is the chord which is subtending x on the circumference and 90 uh, uh, at the center so half of the central angle will be the circumference angle so we can say that x is equal to half of 90 and then we can say that x is equal to 45 degree and finally we can say that angle BCA is equal to 45 degree and that is the answer. We can do in this way also since um, this point is the center so EF, EC, EA and EB are radii. EF is equal to EB so since uh, these two sides are equal so these two angles will also be equal so this is 90 the sum of these two will be 90 so we can say that 2x is equal to 90 and therefore x is equal to 45 but x we have the required angle angle bc is x and that is 45 so this is the answer